and I do have two small children that I will be looking to move out of the district. Several parents in the Ambridge area schools are telling us they are mad. Those parents say a teacher shortage is hurting their students' education. They say the district isn't doing enough. Chris Hoffman took their concerns to district leaders. We spoke with a mom of five students in the district, three just in the high school here. She says one of her sons hasn't had a permanent teacher teaching his English class all year, and some of these issues date back to last school year. The new school year is not even a week old, but parents in Ambridge are already over it. My child's been in school for five days, and he's met three different substitute teachers for his English class. What's he learning? He's been on his phone. I just talked to him. He can't be learning anything if he's on the phone with me. Laura McClellan says her three high schoolers are not getting an education. She and multiple parents say the lack of teachers has been an issue for years. They claim pay and student behavior has driven teachers away. Several parents have complained this year about a lack of teachers in the high school English department in particular. Superintendent says they have a certified teacher in one position and the district is onboarding a chosen candidate for an open position. There's no fixable solution here. Emails like this went out last year telling parents about how a sub had to teach some classes so many days in a row before they made a hire. For parents like Christina Volok, it's all more of the same. What the hell was that? I could do the same thing at home and just, you know, they could do a cyber. She had a daughter graduate last year. She says didn't learn anything in her college prep class. It was the same during her freshman year math class. They just ho-hummed it. You know, they really didn't seem concerned about our, our children's future. McClellan feels like it may be time to move on as well. She says after three of her children finish high school, she has reservations about keeping her younger children in the district. We've reached out to the school board on this matter, but have not heard back. This isn't like a privilege to get education. We deserve that. We pay for that. In Ambridge, Beaver County, Chris Hoffman, KDKA TV News.